I'm in. Okay, so today is the first day of the uh, championship. We're at El Monara. We've had a fantastic day. The leaderboard is incredibly exciting. Uh, we'll show you that if you go to the website, fatherandsongolf.co.uk, you can see the live scores. And uh, I'm very excited and very honored to introduce none other Manuel Pinero. Manuel, lovely to meet you and thank you so lovely much. For, thank you for giving me this interview. Um, I have to say, when I was a younger man, I was in the, in the crowd at the Belfry watching Manuel in the victorious 1985 Ryder Cup team when you beat Lenny Watkins. And Lenny Watkins at that time was a monster. I mean, everyone was terrified of Lenny. He was, a, he was an awesome competitor. So how did you manage to do what nobody else could do and beat Lenny Watkins? Well, I, I, I really... Uh, Lenny was the only one who beat uh, Seve and I in the doubles. Because Seve, we played four matches, as you know, and we only lost one. And Lenny was on that uh, pair. So I really uh, feel confidence and uh, Tony Yaplin asked me if I can uh, be number one and on the draw and I said yes. He said, you know who he's going to play with against and I uh, said probably Lanny Watkins. But I feel confident that I can, I can put him in, a, in, a, in some difficulties in the golf course. Wow. And, uh, yes, it was, a, it was a wonderful memory and, and uh, I was... I was uh, Played really well that day, and, and I feel confident that I can, I can show Lenny that I can, I can play as good as him. Wow, that's incredible! That's amazing, comedy. And the other thing uh, was the 1981 Ryder Cup team, which I believe you was a member of the European team. Is that correct, at Walton Heath? Uh, Walton Heath, that's right. Yes. And I, I uh, have been to the clubhouse at Walton Heath, and they still have the uh, the photograph of the uh, the European team, the American team. And when you look at that uh, that, that American team. I mean, that was an awesome American side. Has there, has there ever been such a strong American team? You had Tom Watson, Nicholas, Tom Kite, Jerry Pate, who you beat, I believe. You beat him two and one. Uh, Bruce Litsky, uh, Larry Nelson, uh, who am I figure? Uh, uh, Floyd, uh, uh, Johnny Miller. I mean, man, I mean, that team was just, I mean, how did you feel to play in that, tour, in that, in that uh, event? Well, that was probably the, the strongest team, the, the dream team. The dream team. The dream team. You, you cannot have. Probably you will miss Tiger Woods and his best time there. Exactly. But the rest of were, were there. And, uh, we were a very young team, apart from a couple of players. And uh, but it was uh, it was an honor to play in that Ryder Cup. It was my first Ryder Cup, and my partner was younger. And uh, well, we managed to we managed to to beat um, uh, Floyd and Irwin. And uh, <laughs> well, we lost again Nicholas and Watson <laughs> two and one, but uh, it was a wonderful, wonderful memory and, and a great, a great Ryder Cup. Wow, that's that's just amazing. Uh, just lastly, man, well, I'm not going to take too much of your time. I'm very excited, obviously, to be talking to you, but we're here with the father and son. So, what do you think of father and son golf? What do you think of this concept? It is a fantastic concept. Uh, I've, I've I've been watching over the last few years, you know, in America when they play professionals, fathers and sons, you know, Nicholas, Floyd, Di Trevino, and Gary, and it's a, it's a lovely idea. And um, uh, I'm sure uh, if I play with my, I have two daughters, my younger daughter, she, she was a very good player. I'm sure if I can play it uh, one day in one of these tournaments, I will be very nervous on the first tee, for sure. Well, you're very welcome to play in our event, and we do allow daughters to play. And uh, if we ever could persuade you to come and play, we'd be absolutely honoured. But just before we finish, we're here to uh, promote Andalusia and the region of Cadiz, and we are in this resort of Sota Grande. So, to the viewers back home, what is Sota Grande, and why should people come and think about playing golf here? Well, this is probably if you want to play golf in Europe, uh, this is the place you you, you must visit. It once in your life. You are probably in this area, in, a, in just one kilometer, two kilometers away, you have the best three courses probably in Spain. You have Real Soto Grande, you have Valderrama, and you have La Reserva. They are top, top class golf courses. And uh, also, what we, we have? Almanar and San Roque. Almanara, San Roque. You have uh, Finca Cortesin. So it's, Unbelievable. Uh, it's a fantastic area to play golf. And also the weather. Look at the weather we have now. Uh, uh, end of October. And exactly. We, we just, uh, we, 
in the sun. So to all you golfers back there in Northern Europe in the cold and the rain and the dark, uh, we're having a great time and hopefully you can come and join us next year. Manuel, thank you so much for being an absolute honour. Thank, thank you so you much. much. Cheers. Great.